what's up guys? And thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, this Garander. And well, I'm still having somewhat the same team here because me and Jack uh, was gonna have a battle. Since my other team is somewhat in beta testing, I really wanted to try out the team that has been working somewhat well. And that is gonna be the Sand team, which has been very, very potent uh, in mixed here. And well, Jack is bringing a real, real tough pokes here, both War Total, Sherim, uh, Drapion and Dragigon. Oh, dear, my. Uh, I hate that poke so much. It's so immensely bulky. And yeah, uh, it just always, when it is involved, it brings me so much trouble. And of course, you got the Charizard and Mianfu. And I'm going to assume that that Charizard is Y from the beginning because there would be no reason to use Sherim if uh, he didn't get away of getting the sun, obviously. And I got the Dragon. <sighs> I hate Dragon. Um, for you guys who are new to my channel, Dragon has just been so much pain in my early videos. Um, you know, being that strong, super, super bulky, not that fast, obviously, which is its only downside. Uh, but it takes it well, and it got access to Sucker Punch, it got Sheer Force, it's... Uh... <laughs> so yeah, my team, though, just to talk about it, um, it might use my Hippodome, of course, to get the sand from up. Stoutland, Gigalith is still around. And I'm using Ether than Jubilate only because um, while my team is really bulky defensively, I have nothing to, you know, wall out hits like um, Jubilate is really doing. Um, so its only purpose is to wall out and, you know, retaliate, uh, but not really, really like attack your opponent. And other than that, I got Mantine to, you know, cover up flaws with this team, obviously. And the flaws being that I can't really counter another weather team that well. Mantine gives me the opportunity to wall water post with a water absorb and it actually got some very good resistant damage from what benefits in the sun and obviously taking shards of wise fire blast actually really well. It does around 20 to 30 percent uh, depending on the damage output so it's actually really bulky even in the sun uh, so I had it in mind and actually it's very very necessary for me to uh, well deal with uh, Jack's team really because he's Team is super super threatening and has not very or not many weaknesses. So right here in the beginning, I just decided let's go with Manetric. I know I can go for a protect, uh, freely mega evolve, and then just volt switch out and get the switch initiative. He stuck with the Mianfu, and I really did fear that guy could be scarfed in worst case scenario. So I'm just gonna go for um, well, the protect. Uh, so Intimidate, of course, gonna help me out. So even if it is scarfed, it won't be able to take me out. Little risky maybe, but he hard switch here, which tells me it either is Choice Bandit or Life Torb. So let's go with this potent freaking poke that I hate so much to on. Uh, obviously I won't do anything to it. Uh, uh, so I'm just gonna go to Boogra, getting the Sandstream up. There is really nothing I can do up against this guy. Um, Boogra is probably the best guy to deal with it, with the Ice Fang, but other than that, I mean, I have nothing for a Dragon. Um, it is such a strong poke, you can't you can't one one it KO it, it's simple as that. So you get the free opportunity to bring the shards out. I went for Ice Fang, which I obviously missed. Yay me. Uh, I always would have done anything anyway. So I did, like I said, expect him here to actually decide to go for the shards of wide right away and go for that potent power blast, taking away my sand, and um, that works for me, because I don't get buffed by the sand. Let's go for a power blast and uh, yeah. I'm so glad I brought Mantine for this battle. It's such a potent poke against this weather condition, and it actually halts uh, the Charizard really well if it is the Y form. So, anyway, I did expect him to go for a knockoff here. In worst case scenario, a Toxic. I don't really know his set, so I'm just gonna go into Bugra. Like I said, I was hoping for that he was going for a knockoff, plus, I get the Sandstorm up again, which is very benefiting for me. Um, so, my left door is gone. It doesn't affect me too much because I can actually deal with this rather well. So I did expect him to switch out to either War Turtle or something else. It could even be the Charizard. Uh, so I just went for my Mega Man Retro, actually, forcing him to switch, which felt really, really good. I did expect him to, you know, he could might as well bring him to Dragon yet again. Uh, so I'm gonna go for my Hidden Power Ice, you know, to try to do as effective damage as possible. And even though, you know, the thought process here was really well constructed, I think, I don't do nearly enough. That 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 is that is a problem. That is a very real problem. And um, 
this guy could have Sucker Punch, so I actually decided to hard switch here. Uh, I'm glad he went for the Earthquake, because that shows me that he doesn't even have this Sucker Punch, but I did fear that, so if this matchup comes up again, I can actually go for a Volt Switch next time. So, I'm gonna expect him here actually to bring the shards otherwise, I'm gonna go for Rock Slide, you know, trying to one it kill it. So, I felt really, really comfortable here, I was, I was easily gonna win this Weather War, and win it really early in the game. Oh my god, no! This cannot happen, damn! <laughs> So I'm yet again bringing the Mantine to soak out whatever comes my way and look at that solar beam and uh, it does it does more than I am comfortable with that is easily 25% so he did decide to switch out I actually went for a Skull there instead of uh, Toxic just to uh, get the burn off uh, so obviously I'm not that invested in attack at all I'm super bulky uh, that's about it with leftovers and no way of really recovering I don't like to stall it out so I did a good switch in here, I uh, didn't expect to go for a Toxic, next turn I actually expected him to go for a Scald, so I decided to bring in my Mantine yet again, just to recover up. Of course he brings the Dragon, and I can't take a knockoff, there is no way I can deal with that. So I'm gonna go yet into Bugra, just to, well, deal with this situation, to be really honest here. And uh, yet again, getting the Sandstorm up, uh, it's important for my team, but it goes for Toxic, that puts a timer on my Bugra, uh, or my Hippodon, and uh, well, since my winning condition is to keep actually this thing healthy, because I can't win this battle uh, if I don't have any stand up, because Charizard will just render through my team, and that goes for Sharim too, which could easily oko a lot of my pokes here without the stand up, because my Gigalith can't deal with uh, any gross moves. Without um, without the stand up, obviously. So I go for a slack up, you know, getting that damage off. Of course, this is a matchup I can't win. Plus, he got that protect going, which means that he can wall me out, and I can't. Oh, I can I have. I can only two it kill it, and I know that. So I go into borrows, you know, getting the intimidate off, hoping it goes for a knockoff. And yeah, he gets a crit here, and that really really sucks for me because that breaks through, of course, that attack drop, and I am forced to volt switch here. It really, really sucks for me because that means that I can't use my uh, Mega Manetro as freely as I'm hoped for. Because Barros and Bugra is the only guys that can actually deal with this guy properly. And being that the both have a timer now and are half dead, means that I am in trouble. I am really in trouble. Uh, so I decided to go for a slack off here. I did expect him to bring the Charizard, but you know what? Even if I did the Rock Slide, I was I could have missed. And um, really this early on in the game, oh, I think we're gone for, yeah, I'm going to go right six minutes, but still none of us will lose any poke. Uh, our team walled each other really, really well, and uh, yet again, going to bring the Mantine here to wall out the Power Blast, and it gets a crit. So now my team is really, like, now it's really down for the, for the count, I, I can't do anything here, and uh, I need to go back to Bugra. I was actually hoping for him going for Solar Beam because consider how much damage the Fire Blast did when it wasn't uh, created. So I actually lock him in here, and that was very, very important. I thought about this very long, how well a Gigalith could actually take that Solar Beam. I know I can't switch into Mantine yet again. So I bring a Vulcan here, and look at this. Look at this. Damn! Deal with this! Have you ever seen a Rock Poke taking a Soul Beam that well? No. Assault Vest plus the Sand plus heavily special defensive is it's the way to go god damn gigalith you're you're my hero wow and that really it that meant a lot too that he didn't get to, to kill anything just yet so going yet again back into bugra because i have nothing to take this knockoff now obviously can't have speed and i can't lose the assault vest because the shard is of course still around so because of that i did actually try to take him out here with a rock slide and I fell really short, and I should be really glad he gone for a whirlwind here. And I actually done a misplay here because I was so sure that I could take it out with this shadow sneak, you know, I'll be an old cock in that. <laughs> it didn't even move. And of course the knockout will take off my evil light. And uh, I seen a reason to try and even, you know, stay in here. I actually need to take this guy out, and I don't see any reason to use the Dewblade anyway. Because it's it will fall short because of, of course, the weather conditions in this game. 
Shall I'll do my very best here to just get some damage on the Charizard and you know just after that being able to save switch. So we both lose our first poke at the same time basically. So we're still on 5-5 here. And we both lost our defensive walls. So that's that's something. And of course here, you know, he of course he's gonna bring the dr dragon. I I'm sure of that. I really am. But you know you all saw how much I hidden power ice did anyway. So because of that I decided, you know what? Let's bring the sand. <laughs> Such a solid strategy from my side. Um, and of course, with the switch initiative, I can do as much as I please. So I did expect him. He might want to go for rocks, of course. But I also thought, you know what? He might actually overpredict and uh, stay in and not go for a Charizard. So I was really glad he stood, stayed in here. So I got the earthquake and, of course, killing it because I'm very, very heavily offensive actually with some HP and full defensive so here's the Sherim and I thought you know what the sand is up he, I can easily deal with him with Vulcan and that might have all through if it didn't have sunny days so, oh my god this weather war doesn't end with the Jarzad I need to deal with the Sherim too and of course get some decent boosts here in the sun which means I'm gonna sack off Mantine look at this Mantine survives the bulk the sheer power of Mantine still clinging on. Oh, I feel so sorry for him because that that was really. Thank you, Mantine. You really you really helped out this game. Sure, you did help a lot here. So I'm gonna bring Fulf. You know what Fulf do? I'm actually going for Retaliate, hoping to kill this Sherim. Of course, he switches out to War Turtle. And well, I don't kill it, but damn, it's enough. It's well enough to another Retaliate to finish it off. So, I was really happy here, and of course, using two retaliates here, um, just to, you know, fake my um, uh, scarf, of course I got a life orb damage, but he didn't expect that, or didn't see that, so I'm gonna go into Bugra here, sacking it off, because our teams are right now falling apart, there is no stopping this, but Bugra still survives, he's also clinging on like the Mantine, you know, being the perfect wall here and I can only say thank you Bugra for being so potent this game. So I'm gonna go back into full fear and go for that retaliate and it will be well enough to, to take it out. Yeah, Fulf. Fulf is really, really doing what he's supposed to. Of course, it was tough to deal, you know, because of the weather condition, he can't outspeed anything unless the sand is up. So, I uh, have to switch out here, I'm gonna switch to Vulcan, of course, Fire Sunny Boosted, Fire Blast will do a minced amount of damage. And of course the Solar Beam here will actually be enough to finish my Gigalith off. So, Gigalith, thank you for this game, damn, you did a fine job too. I was actually very impressed with this. I'm gonna bring Byrus here, and of course, I'm gonna win against the Charizard, but the thing is, can I deal with the Sherim? And I'm not gonna even, you know, take a chance here because if it gets boosted with the speed here and easily can outspeed me. So I'm gonna Volt Switch here and I'm gonna bring my full yet again for some last retaliation. And uh, I'm gonna risk everything here and go for that Giga Impact. I actually survived the Giga Drain and even if I'm gone with Weather Ball Fire, he probably would have been even closer to taking me out. But this Giga Impact will finish the job just nicely there. And Wolf is definitely bringing it. Three pokes in the bag. <laughs> so of course I'm going to rest for now. And Wolf, thank you. Wow, you did some damage here to this game. I'm so proud of him. And of course Baros here will be enough to finish off the job here. So I'm just gonna solo for protect just to annoy <laughs> or rub it in Jack's face really. And we'll finish the game with a Volt Switch of course because I don't use Thunderbolt. Because I just want, um, yeah, I really just want the opening to have an initiative and switch in. And you probably get some really good momentum with Volt Switch and, of course, Flame Thrower and Hidden Power Ice brings the coverage that is necessary. So, yeah, that is that is the game. Thank you, Jack, for this. And, of course, this went down to his 100th battle, so make sure guys to check him out i mean we've been doing battles since the dawn of time i was gonna say but at least since the metagame started back in october we started pocketube i think in december and you know we fought each other ever since and to really you know 
most of our battles looks like this, and it is for good reasons. We know exactly how we play against one another, so that we just always, always close games. Uh, I can't really. I mean, it's a pleasure to fight this guy because he's he is a very, very good and competent battler, and uh, it really comes to show here that he pressured my team to the absolute limits. I even brought an OU poke just to be able to actually do a mixed battle for real this time. And it was, you know, not nearly as potent as I was hoping it was gonna be against him because he did, did the right predictions. And of course, me missing the rocks against the Charizard Y really prolonged this battle. We went on for 40 minutes. I think this game was 50 turns, 52 or something like that. Something very, a very long battle for sure. And it took around, I think, 30 turns before even Pope died. I, I never experienced anything like this. We definitely did the right prediction against one another, and it turned out to be such a huge and complete game. I don't think I will have anything like this for a long time. Um, I don't know that guy is, you know, I can't really stress this enough. Make sure to check Jack out. He is one of the best battlers I know, and is a very, very good friend. And it's a pleasure to battle a guy for a hundred time. Or at least for a hundred battle. We okay, battle each other six times, I guess, so seven, something like that. Not, okay. You know what? <clears throat> I'm, I hope to see this guy keep doing on another hundred and even more. So, for everybody who's been watching this, make sure to leave a like. I'm going to link his side of the battle down below. None of that. Thank you for watching, guys. And have a good day. Bye.